All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick's Bankman Power. So as we get closer and closer to the Olympia, my videos about the Olympia contestants get more and more views. So someone I have yet to make a video about is Sean Roden. Now, I've mentioned him in my prediction videos, but I've never actually made a video specifically about Sean and whether or not I think he can win the Olympia this year. So I wanted to make that video now. So first and foremost, let me just say that I think Sean has an incredible physique. I think he definitely has that aesthetic factor. He has a great X frame. He's got a V taper that's insane. His waist is probably one of the smallest waists on the Olympia stage, but he does have some flaws that are probably going to prevent him from winning this year's Olympia. And that's what I'm going to get to in this video. So in my opinion, Sean versus Phil at the Olympia, it hasn't even been close in my opinion. I think Sean, um, you know, he's got a great physique, like I said, but I think he's miles behind Phil in several departments. So number one would be the back department. When they turn around and do that back double bicep, back lat spread, Phil just blows Sean out of the water in my opinion. I, I think there's absolutely no competition. Once they turn around from the back, I think Sean is blown away. Do I think Sean could have improved his back enough in the short amount of time between the last Olympia and this year's Olympia to improve his back that greatly? The answer is no, and here's why. So what Sean seems to tend to do is kind of get off cycle in the off season. It seems like he does this every single year. If you saw, if you follow him on Instagram and you see the pictures he posted while he was on vacation, he looks significantly smaller, significantly softer, and that seems to be the case every year. When you see him at expos in the off season um, and he's not prepping for the Olympia, he tends to look pretty soft and pretty small. So the running theory is that he gets off all the gear and he takes some time to cycle off every single year. So that means he doesn't stay on year round and he doesn't prep year round. So I think so far that hasn't worked for Sean. That hasn't been able to give him the edge over Phil. So I think that's what he needs to change in order to knock Phil off. He needs to train year round. He needs to prep year round. And unfortunately he would need to cycle year round in order to improve his back the amount that it would need to improve. Now, obviously, in the past, there have been tremendous bodybuilders that have done this and cycled off in the offseason, like Kevin Lavroni, for example. During his competitive career, he would cycle completely off of everything, then cycle back on when he's prepping for a big show. So this definitely has worked before for athletes, but as far as winning the Mr. Olympia, I don't think you can do that. If Sean really wants to beat Phil and get the edge over Phil, he needs to train harder than Phil. He needs to cycle you know, just as hard as Phil does. He needs to do the bodybuilding thing year-round. He can't be taking off-seasons um, where he gets off all the drugs if he wants to win the Mr. Olympia. You, get, you just got to make sacrifices, whether that be sacrificing your health, you know, sacrificing money, whatever the preventative factor is that keeps him from cycling all year-round. Um, you just got to have to sacrifice that if you want to be the very best. And I think that's the edge that Phil has. I think he goes, you know, balls to the walls year round. He does whatever it takes. Um, and that's why he is Mr. Olympia. So honestly, I think number one, the back shot is one factor. I think the cycling off in the off season is another factor that's going to prevent him from winning the Olympia. And the third factor, I think, is the size factor. Now, granted, his aesthetics and a small waist definitely give him an advantage over Phil. But I think the size of his muscularity overall next to Phil's is tremendously smaller. He has a, you know, he has significantly less roundness and fullness to his arms and his delts than Phil has. So I think that's also working to his disadvantage. And in, in previous years and more recent years, his waist has actually gotten a little bigger and he's kind of had that distended look and a little bit of softer look to his abs. So that's another potential factor to consider that his conditioning might not even be there and his waist might not even be small. So that's another thing that I think can work to his disadvantage. So overall, on my prediction, I do not think Sean Roden is going to be able to win the 2017 Mr. Olympia. Do I think he will be in the top three? Yes. Do I think he will be in the top two? Possibly. Um, again, my top three predictions, Phil Heath, Sean Roden, Big Rami. That's who I have in my top three. Uh, maybe in no particular order. I could see Big Rami sneaking into second and edging out Sean. And I can also see Sean um, having second place and, and squeaking out Big Rami. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Do you think Sean Roden can win the 2017 Mr. Olympia? Nick Strength and Power, signing out.